From celebrating culture in Fort Worth to experiencing it in Grand Prairie, the Dallas Carnival Caribbean Festival is happening this weekend at Joe Pool Lake and organizers want you to experience what the event is all about. Joining me this morning to spill the tea on all things Carnival spokesperson Ivana Ayuso. Good morning to you. Hi, good morning. How are you today? Great, thank you. Look, this event happens throughout the world. It's a celebration of Caribbean culture, food, costumes, so much more. Where does the origin of the carnival stem from, stem from? Journeying through the roots of what this cultural extravaganza is can be a little complicated, but it dates all the way back to the 18th century. We are uh, looking at um, European Catholics who traveled and settled on all these Caribbean islands. Trinidad and Tobago, Haiti, Dominica. They traveled, settled, and brought their religious celebrations and festivities. Fast forwarding to what we see and celebrate in Carnival today, we look at freedom. Breaking away from colonialism, the melting pot of ethnicities that were now found on the islands, were able to transform these celebrations into their own. And it was now a celebration of life, emancipation, and freedom. You know, I'm looking at this video right now and I also see the feathers behind you. What is the cultural significance of the costume with the feathers and what does that symbolize? So in today's carnival, the mass bands, the masquerade bands, go on a journey to tell a story about their individual themes. The costumes can be one of the most important parts of telling that story. These themes, um, it's an artistic journey that they portray what the story is that they're trying to tell on the road. There's themes that have to do with fantasy worlds, um, Encanto, there's themes that go back in history, um, talking about um, Mayan existence or a rebellion versus a celestial realm. There's, it's just so interesting how these designers and band leaders go on a journey to tell their stories. Mm -hmm. Look, we've talked a lot about the history. I want to get into what folks can expect if they have absolutely no idea what Carnival is about. What can people expect coming to the festival? Coming to the festival is a complete awakening of all these senses. You are going to see all these beautiful costumes coming down the road. Some of the biggest um, sound systems on these trucks. You're going to see all these vendors with all the Caribbean food you can think of, also local food. We're inviting all the Caribbean community and all DFW Metroplex. Dallas Carnival's mission is to bring a taste of the Caribbean to the Metroplex. Oh, I We're love that. We're inviting everybody out to come experience what the Caribbean love and the Caribbean experience is. And speaking of that experience, where can folks find more information if they do want to come out? dfwcarnival.com has all the info you need it is a four day um four it's four days of events so all the events information are on the website you can get tickets there directions everything it culminates on sunday this is where the festival with the international soca artists all the costumes, all the mass bands, all the vendors, all ticket information is on the website and we're inviting everybody to come out and experience a taste of the Caribbean. Okay, thank you so much, Ivana. I appreciate you joining us here on Midday. Thank you. Look, just another reminder, y'all, if you're interested, you can find more information at dfwcarnival.com.